There's some new technology that will use AI speed cameras to spy inside your car. Yes, technology is great, except when it's used to control and monitor everything we do. And now new AI speed cameras are being installed on roads that will be able to spy inside your car. Now these new cameras are set to be rolled out across the US to catch motorists using mobile phones at the steering wheel and failing to wear seatbelts. Now this invasive technology is being rolled out in the UK first and will make its way across to other countries and soon after it'll be here. It's already been passed to law. And the new AI technology is enabling police not only to catch speeding drivers, but also clamp down on motorists distracted by their phones, even if they have them on their lap while at the wheel. Now the move has raised privacy concerns before AI cameras become a substitute for traffic officers stopping suspected motorists who might also be drunk driving or speeding or a traffic violation. You'll get a ticket or a potential arrest for an offense by simply a snapped image. This sounds like a nightmare at best. I think it's really bad and extremely scary, much like the book 1984. At least a quarter of the 44 police forces in England, Wales, and Scotland have already deployed these cameras, which can catch motorists using mobile phones at the wheel. If caught, drivers holding a handheld device behind the wheel can face six penalty points and about 200 pound fine, which is about 250 US dollars, an increase to 1,000 pounds, which is about 1,300 US dollars, and a driving ban if you're taken to court. Now, 11 police forces have deployed road cameras developed by a census, which captures images of vehicles as they pass. One is from a shallow angle to see the phone at the driver's ear, and a second is taken from a steep angle, which detects the device if it's on your lap. AI software analyzes all these images and flags those where the driver is suspected of holding a mobile phone and not wearing a seatbelt, encrypted what are called violation packages. I'm sure we're gonna see that here soon with a different name, are sent to the police to decide whether to prosecute. To counter privacy issues, a police officer reviews anonymous pictures without any identification, which features such as a number plate, passengers, or make of the vehicle. If it goes to a prosecution, the images are then matched to the registration details, and then you get a ticket, a fine, or potentially arrested. Now this new high-tech speed cameras, which can catch motorists using mobile phones as well, are deployed by the police. And the Vector SR cameras can track two-way traffic, use radar, which means there is no need for road markings on the road because they already know what you're doing. The infrared low light technology means drivers will not necessarily know if they've been caught. Pictures can also be checked to prove you are speeding or using a cell phone or not wearing a seatbelt. This is intrusive. It's creepy. The surveillance takes away your privacy and your rights here in the US and in many other countries. Now, research by the Department of Transportation suggests that 150,000 to 400,000 drivers use cell phones while driving. That's not smart. Put your phone away and focus on the road. Remember, you're driving a 4,000 pound or more vehicle. This unproven AI powered video analysis should not be used to monitor and potentially criminalize drivers. This kind of surveillance treats every driver as a potential suspect and is a threat to everyone's privacy. So you're guilty until proven innocent. Governments believe that using this technology will make people seriously consider their driving behaviors. So here in the US, states can now access billions in funding for the speed cameras under Biden's infrastructure law that passed in 2021. This is that same infrastructure bill that includes kill switches we've covered. $15.6 billion have been allocated in the highway and road safety and is going toward installing automatic traffic enforcement, such as speed and red light cameras, as well as automatic traffic enforcement. So yes, it's coming here. It's already been passed. It just needs to be installed. These cameras are being sold to the public as something they're not. No surprise, this seems to be the way the government likes to do things. And the Transportation Department's National Roadway Safety Strategy stated that in quote, speeding increases both the frequency and severity of crashes. Yet it is both persistent and largely acceptable as the norm amongst the traveling public. Automated speed enforcement, if deployed equitably, I hate that word, and applied appropriately to roads with the greatest risk of harm due to speeding can provide significant safety benefits and save our lives, end quote. 
This automated traffic enforcement can rake in millions of dollars. That's really what it's all about. Follow the money in ticket revenues for local communities, but has spurred backlash. Motorists often complain speed cameras can be inaccurate, which they are, but they're almost impossible to dispute in court. And that means they're taking your money. Now, eight states specifically forbid the use of speed cameras, while another 24 have no specific legislation to support their use. Ultimately, states and localities, not the federal government, will decide on how the $15 billion in federal funding can be best used to improve road safety. I say repave the roads, but they have other plans. So now is the time to tell your state, county, city, and town elected officials that you value your privacy. You do not want these invasive cameras installed on your roadways. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be more than happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, my book, and our podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.